I want to play around with derivatives a little bit just to give us a better idea of what they mean. So here I've graphed a function, y equals f of x, and I haven't graphed it very precisely, but we can still get a general idea of what the derivative has to look like of this graph. So notice this first segment here, f of x is increasing, so f prime of x must be positive. In this second segment, f of x is constant. That means it's not moving, it's not changing, so therefore its rate of change is zero. In this segment here, our function is decreasing, so its derivative is negative. Now this last segment, note that it first increases, then decreases. So about to here, f of x is increasing, so f prime of x should be positive, and from about here to here, f of x is decreasing, so f prime should be negative. So if I want to start graphing the derivative, where the easiest place is probably going to be right here. If it's zero, it's just going to look like this. Now let's look to the left. Here, my function is increasing, and it looks like a line, so it's increasing at a constant rate. It's not increasing faster or slower than it would look like a curved line. So it's a positive number, and that number doesn't change. Its rate of change is constant, so its derivative is a constant. Now here, in this third section uh, near the origin, my function is decreasing. It's decreasing, look, it's a straight line, so it's decreasing at a constant rate. So that means my derivative should be a constant negative number. Now let's compare it to this first section. This first section is not, this first section seems more steep than the third section. The first section is steeper, so its rate of change in absolute terms is bigger. So this negative number should not be as large as this positive number. Now let's look at the fourth section. It starts very, very steep and ends very, very shallow. And notice here, it's basically flat, not increasing or decreasing. So the derivative should be zero here because look, we basically have a flat line. But the derivative should be pretty strongly positive at this point. So let's say it looks something like this. Now after I pass this cusp where my derivative is zero because my line looks flat, I start to decrease. So that means my derivative should become negative. And in this case, it starts off as decreasing just a little and then it ends up decreasing quite a bit. So it goes from zero and then it's just a little bit decreasing and more decreasing and more decreasing and at the end it's decreasing very quickly. So at the end I should be very strongly negative. So this red line should be a pretty decent approximation of the derivative of the function that I drew. And notice sometimes they really don't look anything like each other. On the left I have this nice kind of top of a trapezoid and it translates into three stair steps. On the right I have this very nice curve and it translates into just a big straight line.